Hello and welcome to Excel-BoardTemplates.com. My name is Steve True. Please visit our blog at Excel-BoardTemplates.com so that you're sure to get the latest charting techniques, Excel tips and tricks, and learn everything about Excel. Okay, uh, so today I had a request from my YouTube channel. Uh, somebody had watched this video here that shows you how to group uh, column charts with a line and create different groupings. Uh, that are gathered together in a line and what the person wanted to know is they wanted to know how do I draw a bottom line so basically make a box uh, within this chart um, instead of going from the axes up and grouping them with a line from the axis they wanted to maybe do a floating box grouping so uh, much like you might see here um, we've actually got a box grouping uh, and uh, they wanted to choose how to do that grouping and wanted to see how to do it. So uh, let's go ahead and show you how to do that. Um, so this is a similar data that we had for our chart uh, on the column chart that you saw on the previous page. So what we want to do is we're going to create a column chart out of this data. Uh, then we want to set up a second data range. And the second data range, as you see right here, what this is going to do is this is going to set up as an XY scatter chart and we're going to um, create our data points um, such as, let me go back to the chart, what we have here is we have data points that are set up in between each one of these columns and that's how we kind of get that grouping effect. You could put it on the columns but then it would, would hide the column data. So. Um, we start at uh, five and a half, and the way I figured that out is I'm five columns over A, B, C, D, E is five columns, and a half is right on that tick mark. So we, this point right here, if I highlight it, you see it says it's five and a half comma 216. So that's five and a half over on the x-axis, 216 units up, and that's where it's going to start our first point of the square box. Then we're going to put in the plot the second point here at five and a half on our x-axis and 2174 on the vertical axis. It's going to be our second point of the line. Then we're going to chart over to 15 and a half, so that's going to be uh, 10 columns that we're grouping together. And once again, this is going to be between column 14 and column 15. That's why we're doing 15 and a half. And then since it's at the same level, uh, it's at 2174 height. Then our final point is 15.5 on the x-axis and 216 up. And then we're going to repeat this very first point here in order to close out our box. So let me show you how you go about doing that in an Excel chart. So what we want to do first is we want to create our column chart. So we come over here to uh, A2. We're going to highlight all the way down. To B24, so um, create your column chart by going up to Insert Column in the Column Charts section, a grouping, and we want to do a 2D column chart as you see right here, not the stacked column, but just the regular clustered column. We're going to go ahead and insert that, and I'm going to bring that right on over here so that you can see it. Uh, and then what we want to do is um, we want to add a second series to this chart um, by clicking on the chart then you've already defined these points as we talked about our X's and our Y's once again we started at five and a half and 216 we went from five and a half over up to 2174 then we went over to 15.5 at 27.4 high we went to 15.5 to the right on the x-axis and then down to 216 and then we repeat this final data point at the very bottom. Uh, it's an extra data set, uh, data point in our series, and that's how we close out that box. Okay, so um, normally we would want to highlight our X's and Y's and create our XY scatter line. Um, however, it's going to set it into this column structure, and we're just going to have to modify it anyway. So let's just add a new series by highlighting this column E, which is our highest data points. And then we're going to click on uh, Copy. So we're going to go up to Copy. Then we're going to select the chart. We're going to go up to our home ribbon and do paste special. So it's a special choice here under paste. And you're going to get this little pop-up box that says new series, columns, and rows. Just go ahead and click on OK and everything will work out just fine. So 
we take a look at the chart, you'll now see that we have um, an extra set of data in this column chart. And what we want to do is we're going to change this column chart. So uh, we actually want to change the series type that it's for. So let's go do that now. So first you want to select the chart, then select that red second series there. Then go up to your insert ribbon, go up to your charts grouping, and under the scatter charts, we want to pick this final chart type of scatter with straight lines. Boom, we have a line there, and you've noticed it's created a secondary axis, vertical and horizontal for us. We don't really want this, we want to keep it on the same axis. So let's click on our chart, then right click, format data series, and we want to change this data series to be on the primary axis. Click on close. Okay, so we're getting a lot closer now. You see our uh, line is there, but it's not a box like we were looking for. That's because we've only got one row of data in this because it's setting it up as a column or line chart. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to modify this and make it an XY scatter chart. Well, we've done that, but we haven't given it the X values. We've only got the Y values in there right now. So to edit this, we want to select the chart. We want to go up to our design ribbon. Then there is this button called Select Data in the Data Group. Select that. Then uh, Series 1 is actually the um, series for our columns. Series 2 is that red line that we're going to make into a box. Click on Edit, and you will now see that we have a series name. Uh, you can call it whatever. Let's call it Box. Uh, hit Tab. The X values is what we want to set to the D2 through D6 hit tab and we want to change these Y values to the same thing E2 to E6 click on OK click on OK again and look lo and behold there is our box floating in midair now if we wanted to change these and go to say from 5.5 to 7.5 we would want to change the first point and that last point and also that moves this point and the end point but the top point up here, we want to change this 5.5 to 7.5 as well. And we've got our grouping set up in there. You can do that certainly with formulas. Set all of these values to equal one another uh, so that your box moves appropriately however you'd like. So hopefully that was helpful. This is Steve True. Please sign up for our blog as well as our YouTube channel so that you're sure to get the latest posts, videos, and Excel tips and tricks. Thank you.